was talking about how long he has been in ministry. And I'm a witness, you know, even when I was lukewarm at that time. What I do remember is where his church was located in Charlotte, North Carolina. It was in one of the roughest areas in North Carolina, where a lot of people didn't want to go. And I had a cousin that was a relative that the family looked down on. And if I could be honest, I can say I looked down on her too. But it was Bishop Parker that went out the street and ministered to my cousin. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And a week after her death, she went to one of his tent revivals and was crossing the street. Maybe a week or two later, she was hit by a dump truck and eventually passed away. And he preached her funeral, which was televised. The news media, everyone was there. But after that, I started going to her church, I mean to his church, to him, him and Apostles Church. And I would still see him after service, going out, giving the word of God yes, yes, to those yes. prostitutes. I mean, it was, and it was that's dangerous, but he, that, that showed me he knew God was with him. Yeah. He knew greater is he that was in him than he that was in the world and that yeah. yeah. And when I came to Atlanta, honestly, I thought I came here to party. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know God was rerouting my life. And I was on a crossroad. Mm -hmm. And then I found myself downtown and witnessing just, you know, when I gave my testimony to my church there. And they said, how did you come to God? What's your testimony? What started? I had to go all the way back to Charlotte. Yeah. Uh -huh. When I would see him go on the street, I wanted to do that too. Yeah. Amen. And I don't want to take up much time, but I'm a witness. And in my family, my cousin who preached her funeral. Oh, uh, my uncle. I can just go on and on. His yeah. hands wasn't out. He was there for our family. He prayed with our family. He preached the funerals for our family. He's a faithful man. I am a witness. He's a faithful man. Thank you, Jesus. And I know he is not all about money. Because it was times he denied money from our family. He has shown me he worked for God and not for man. And that's why man can't put him in a box. And a box a box of man. And what did he bless him with God? God has already blessed him. Let me stop. 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 So I just want to welcome my bishop partner. My spiritual partner. Hallelujah. Come on, put your hands together. Hallelujah. I, I tell you, I couldn't ask for a, a better and a more humble introduction. Uh, Co-pastor has a flavor that I'm used to in introduction. You may be seated, amen, and so used to the apostle, amen, and but this time it took me, amen, back. And, and I tell you, I, I was talking, uh, uh, I think it was the Mother Gia, amen, a couple weeks ago, and she's also a mother of our church in Charlotte, and, and then she was telling me how her daughters are all of their daughters now are in the church and goes to uh uh, 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 Bishop uh, Kevin Long's church and how they are faithful and, and working in the church diligently and she thanks me for that, amen. I said, well, it wasn't for me. He said, well, Mr. Parker, he said, sometimes I just don't understand. He said, you know, Mr. Parker, I was, you don't know, I'd be praying for you because I'd be coming up the street and coming out and I'd be seeing you coming out the woods and where <laughs> you be. He said, don't you be scared in the wild old y'all deep in the woods like that? I'm like, Brother Gil, I said, trust me, God was with me. Yeah. I, I had lost my own mind. All I know is that God says, amen, to leave the 99 and go get that one. And if that one's in the trench, I need to go to the trench. If he's under the bridge, I need to go under the bridge. Amen. But I often remind folks, just because you go under the bridge or you go to the drug house, or you go to the alcohol store, or you go to uh, the woods, they may not mean you got to stay there. You got to, you got to have power and strength enough to come up out of there. Is that all right? Uh, come on, put your hands together for the Lord in this house. Amen, amen. I'm not going to hold you long, amen, but at this time, 
Amen. The purpose and the reason, amen, that we are here tonight, amen, is for unification. Unification, dedication to the house of God. Amen. We are honored and we are privileged. Amen. I want to acknowledge, amen, uh, Apostle Johnson and his wife, amen, because, amen. Y'all stand, 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 uh, I don't eat that stuff, but I might know all about it. <laughs> That's my friend. <laughs> amen. And, and, and he was at the apostle, and amen. And, and the apostle, she can't eat certain things, so she was sitting there. Amen. And, and uh, Apostle Johnson had acknowledged her, and, as he always does. and, and tried to coach her to sit down with everybody else and yeah, you don't know my wife man my wife hard-headed man i tell you she she she's like this when she gets into her tone with god amen you can speak you can talk you can scream you can shout you can kick you can do whatever you want to but when she's in that zone i've been with her for 20 almost 26 years, been married almost 21 next month. But when she's in that zone, I don't even say nothing to her. Because I know that she ain't heard nothing I said. <laughs> Hallelujah. But, but sitting in the house of God there, amen, an apostle, uh, Johnson <laughs> Church, amen, God supernaturally, amen, uh, uh, picked up her phone and Pastor Head, thank God for him and the lovely First Lady Stan. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know when they posted it, but God immediately sent it to the right hands. Amen. To answer the post. Amen. To be able to come and and we told uh, Pastor Johnson we, 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 we don't like to eat run, which we don't do. Amen. But we had to get here. I had to see this. Amen. And as I pulled in the driveway and we looked at the outer building and, and, and looked around and we got back in the car and getting ready to pull off my phone run. And it was Pastor Head and he said, somebody call this number and I'm like, Yes, yeah, somebody showed me. <laughs> Praise God. And he said, well, I'm only around the corner and I, I can be there in 15 minutes. And I'm like, well, I want to see this because I, I have heard this before. <laughs> amen. Especially on a Sunday evening. <laughs> amen. But show sure enough, amen, and a sweet spirit and a sweet reunion, amen, came and, and greeted us and met us and and, 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 and it was like we'd been knowing each other for a long, long, long time. We sat in the office and, I, and we came to talk business, amen. But God had us encouraging and lifting up each other. Amen. You don't know how bad I needed that talk. Amen. You don't know how bad Apostle needed that hug and that inspiration and that upliftment, amen. And, and, and to see God because, let me tell you this, six, no, I'm, taking, I'm sorry, two months ago, as I sat there in the bed and, and I have a Facebook ministry and it reaches well over 5,000, I'm getting texts and inboxes for prayer and for this and for that and for counseling and all kind of stuff. And the apostle looked at me and she says, honey, are you ready? And I said, ready for what? <laughs> Amen. 
I didn't get that. <laughs> Amen. I said, ready for what? He said, well, God just told me that within 30 days, he's going to give us our heart's desire, but he's going to make everything brand new. And I said, what do you mean? He says, every member and everything, God's going to send it away. He says, only way they can reconnect with the house is that they will have to make a 190 degree turn in their life. He says, God is going to give us the facility that we need to do and work the ministry that God has called us to do. And he's going to give it to us without one person. And I said, well, honey, I'm ready. Simple as that. I am ready. Amen. Because I don't seen God do some mind blowing things. It was two o'clock in the morning in Shola, North Carolina. I just got home good from work. The repo man just repoed my car two days ago. White man came and gave me a a a, a, a uh, what was that? A, a station wagon the day before that. Two o'clock in the morning, the boss says, God told me to tell us to pack up and leave. Give everything away. We did that. And God tremendously blew our minds. This ministry here, this place, we are now standing in agreement. That's a fellowship. As a deliverance, as a healing center, as an outreach to help the poor, the wounded, the trodden, those that have been cast away and said that you are nobody. God has sent us here to let them know they are somebody. And they can do all things yes. through Christ that strengthens them. Amen. My brothers, Amen. my sisters, my fellow ministers, I reach a hand out to each and every one of you as we dedicate this house of God back to God for his work that you partner with us in any kind of way that you can to help us succeed and work the vision that God has given. You know me, you know my heart. And for the ones that just met me, good evening, I'm Bishop L. D. Parker. This is Paul Parisi Parker, and we are servants of the Lord. So therefore, whatsoever you need us to do, we will be there for you. Everyone that knows me, am I telling the truth? Amen. 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 Stand with me. Repeat after me. Father God, in the name of Jesus, we dedicate this house unto your service. From the front door to the back door, we dedicate to you every instrument, every tool, we dedicate to you. The parking lots, the, parking lots, the surrounding areas, the surrounding areas. We, dedicate this house we dedicate this house to you. To you. The Lord, we call this house, Lord, we call this house your house, your house. The house of prayer, the house of prayer, the house of salvation, the house of anointing, the house of appointing. The house of appointing. Lord, right now, in the name of Jesus, have your way in this place. That this house shall be a lighthouse unto this community 
and for all that can see and that all that needs salvation. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Amen. At this time, I'm not going to put her on spotlight, but I still would like for her to stand and just wave her hand, the First Lady of Christ Community uh, Church, amen, Sister Adams. Come on. Put your hands together. Amen. Amen. I know Sister Adams don't like getting up here. Amen. So I'm not going to put her on spotlight. Amen. But I'm going to ask one of the associate ministers, amen, to uh, forgive me. Swenson. Swenson, amen, when he come at this time and give us a selection, amen. And before he gives us a selection, amen, I'm going to ask him, amen, when he introduce our speaker for this evening, his pastor, amen, and then give us a selection. Is that all right? Come on, give me a hand right here. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Let's give the Lord a hand. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. He's worthy to be praised. Amen. To a bishop, apostle. I'd like to introduce to you and present to others great man of God, mighty man of God, powerful man of God, teacher and a preacher. My pastor, Pastor C.O. Adams, Jr. from Christ Community, Praise and Worship Center in Clarkston. Let's give him a hand. <laughs> Hallelujah. And to the First Lady, of course. And to my First Lady, Sister Swift. Hallelujah. Bob said, be ye also ready. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Well, I gotta clean up what I messed up. Yes, I started my life over again. Well, I gotta clean up what I messed up. Can I get a witness, y'all? Started my life over again. But I messed up. Can I get a witness? Don't slaughter my life over again. Well, I gotta clean up. But I messed up. Can I get a witness? Don't slaughter my life over again. Listen, y'all. Made up my mind. I ain't running no more. Yeah, said I'm going back to church. 
How many of y'all blessed? I mean, truly blessed. Hallelujah.
devil's night. Amen. This is the devil's night. Halloween night. Y'all sitting up here praising God. Don't y'all know y'all made the devil mad. Tarantino Nader said, I love to make him mad. Amen. Hallelujah. Not long. Thank you, Bishop Parker. Pastor Parker. Come on, let's show some love for uh, this esteemed team to come here for this building to be dedicated. Come on, get up God. So pray, let's stand on our feet and show some love. For uh, this team, amen. Thank you for the invite, amen. We came, that been. We left a little offering to it. Amen. Amen. We don't never want to come somewhere and don't leave something behind. Amen. 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 And we're thankful for my friend and my brother. Bless I've been knowing and I tried to help him out when he was in the other place. Gave him my PA system. That's Amen. right. Amen. Told him to just use it. You don't preach out loud, folks. Give it back to him. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> so he was preaching hell out of folks because he didn't give it back to me. Amen. <laughs> So we are grateful and thankful that the Lord has moved you to McDonough, Georgia. Hallelujah. Now come on now, show some love. God has no respected place. He said, go into all the world. Yeah, yeah. He said, just don't sit around the land of Decatur, the Camp County, Stone Mountain. Yeah. Amen. Locked on you, but go into all, yeah, all the world. world. And the Lord has landed you here. In McDonald's, Joe. Amen. And so before you can get in this place, you need some keys. All right, all right. To unlock the door. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. You need some keys. Yes. Yes. To 